ladies and gents, I'm the Rev, and this is The Surge, our walkthrough and guide, and today, you may notice that I'm in some different looking armor. That is because I have been playing in the new DLC, and I'm going to show you guys just how to get there. So, as I pointed out in previous videos, this little red area, you run right up there, and you have to kill a dude, he jumps out at you, but it takes you back up to the med bay. And the easiest way to get it here to this point is running through the other way and then coming over here, dropping down behind the guy that's up there on that gun. Once you're down in here, you kind of just follow the signs. It's real easy. Uh, that's where that thing is that we fought last time. And before we came down here, uh, there was a girl standing there. We gave her our stick. From the security guys and then we go here uh, now Prince do something. what I went and checked it out um, as you're going all of a sudden it stops First, and a tour guide that's what we will pick up show you our mind-blowing so fabrication technologies and tend to your every need next stop Creo world we hope you enjoy your visit all right so here we are we are back there are lights now I'll show you guys this armor here before too long once we get to the med bay in this area. But first, check it out. It's real easy to get. I just farm the same guy over and over. But uh, I'm going to figure out how to get that at some point. All I've been doing is kind of running around back and forth in this first area. I didn't set off any of the voice stuff i didn't do anything i just made a point of trying to get whatever armor i could find and this stuff's great uh, so far it's the best balanced and you can see up in the cor uh, left corner under the health bar there's a little thing here i'll just show you the armor so of course we still got our pax impertinator that still thing works the best out of all the weapons and then we got our mantis gear right and the defense isn't too bad but when you compare it to everything else, um, at a nine, doing anything at a, other at a nine, uh, eats a whole bunch of the energy for the drone, even though it uses fewer slots. Arms, not bad. Uh, this is the Goliath, which is the other thing that's right around here. It's, eh, it's you would think it'd be really big and strong. It's not. Security shoulders. Uh, the scarab, see, not that's a little bit better, but it's a big impact on your ability to fight. And then, nothing too special down here uh, with the feet. They they move and groove pretty good. And of course, that's still our starting pair that's the fastest, but with 15 armor, it's not bad. So, and then, of course core 20 defense which is pretty solid i think that's like one of the highest yeah the other one's the scarab one and they're pretty evenly matched so not too bad also when i was running around i did find uh, more drone stuff uh, the laser there's a flare one although uh, that might be over at the bio labs we'll get to it anyway so that's what this armor is and I got some different injectables. But oh, what I was going to show you here with the specs, if you look down here, it says gear set bonus. When you run the whole set of one gear, uh, you get a bonus. And this one, uh, all in, uh, wearing a full set of Mantis gear reduces all injectable energy cost by 25%. And that's nice. So. Whew. But boy, it took a lot of work to get all this stuff. It's a lot of scrap. So it's metal, pretty metal as you go through here. And then, bam, this is where we need to go. First. Hey, hey, folks. Welcome to Creo World. Why don't you come on in? Families are welcome. Fun is guaranteed. And hey, you might just learn a little something, too. That's Creo's pro. Uh-huh. Really? Okay. Sorry, folks. Creo World is closed while we clean and repair America's favorite family fun park. Don't forget to... Danger. 
Danger. Uh -oh. System malfunction. Containment error code 0x800F081F. System reset imminent. Evacuation procedures in effect. Danger. Danger. Damn. That's not good. So this door pops open. And... Uh, hello? I'm glad you made it. My name's Largo. It's good to meet you. I'm the operator of the park search and rescue unit. Nobody can tell me what's going on around here. Maybe you can. Some kind of big energy surge fried my team's chopper and we fell right out of the sky. I haven't been able to raise any of the Moncom since the crash. And now? Everything is gone insane. The park's mega support pillar collapsed, the systems are damaged or out of control. <laughs> this is apocalypse level shit. <gasps> but there might be survivors out there. And if my team's looking for them, they'll be depending on me to get these systems up and running again. I'm their eyes and ears. Look, I could really use some feet on the ground right now. <sighs> you think these park mascots got scrambled too? Yeah, guess that energy spike fried their processors. Messed with their protocols. I can help. Just tell me what to do. Thanks. Uh, let me do a quick system check. Power's still out all over the park. Ops is running on emergency batteries only. And not for long. First things first, we need to get this place fully operational. Now, let me check the network. Nope, nada, no dice. We're completely offline. <sighs> Without network access, I can't do diddly squat from here. All right, so how can I help with the network? See, the problem with the whole network being out is there's no way to run a damn diagnostic, is there? The park's primary server is located, I think, in the Project Resolve Center. You should be able to see the place from outside ops, if it hasn't fallen into the abyss. If you can get there, I might be able to hardwire into it through your rig. And if it's not totally fried, I may be able to do some magic. So how do I restore power to the park? My best guess is that whatever happened out there physically damaged the power source itself. See if you can track down the problem and then find, uh, some way to fix it? Not that helpful, I admit. I just do numbers in code, you know? Huh. Okay. Good luck out there. Whoa! Steady there, guy in a big, heavy rig. We're kind of a bit... On edge here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, my duty. Okay, so we're at 52. And I found a couple of different little implants floating around this first area. Uh, vital injection 3, vital boost. Got all kinds of good stuff in here now. So. At this point, we don't need anything. Now I do know. Okay, so how do we get out? Ah, right. <clears throat> uh, how to get over to that server area? That was one of the areas I was looking at. Oh, hello. I'm working on making those. Um, there's a, it's a, they want you to make a bunch of first level stuff. So it's like, uh, I don't want to have to go back. Oh crap. So I'm not quite sure what that is. I know if you hit it, it explodes, because I had one blow up in my face. Whoop, hello. Let's sneak a gun on this other guy here. Well, so much for sneaking up. Oh, 
would be nice if I could get the third tier of stuff, but I haven't seen any of that yet. Uh, third tier of materials. Third tier, I should say. Alright. So this, I think, is it. Hello! Alrighty, folks, after running around for a bit, I figured, oh, and I looked up and went, oh, this is how you get over this next area. Oh, shut up. Oh, that's how we power things up, and there's another dude over there. Cool scrap. Okay, I don't know what that was. Oh, shut up. John, nothing. I know y'all remember how it used to feel. Watching the news every night tells the world was ending. Glaciers melting, oceans rising, the sky falling. I know you didn't love that. I didn't love that. But then, there was Creo. And what Creo gives to the world is hope. Your family, your friends, should be proud of the work we do here. Because Creo's new technologies are pushing the very boundaries of possibility. Knew it. Saving this planet, one idea at a time. We're Creo. We're building a better tomorrow. Together. Nothing, no goodies. And that's okay. We just need to hop down now. And how do we get in? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> That lift should work now, right? No, okay. Alright, so it's like no indication. Oh, here we go. Oh, but really? It's not like the game really handles that well. Uh, just take your time, take your time. Hopefully this will be a filled in section up here. Right here. Huh? Don't whoop. See, we still need to get that up. Uh, a drone to do a bunch of stuff, so... I don't understand why they'd let you into this area, huh? If you can't uh, use a, if you don't have a drone yet to use. Ooh. What do we have here? Hmm. That's probably the way out. Okay. And what's on this side? You get to go somewhere else. Oh! I guess we unlocked that one. Okay. Well, let's hit the butter button and see what happens. Well done! 
You started the rebooting process. Oh boy, this is not gonna be good. Two drones. Sorry to tell you this, but it seems like the signal attracts those robots. <laughs> Great. Whoa, what was that all about? Yep. This system is stubborn. I'm, I I need more time. Oh, hey, come on, dude. I've got good news and bad news. Bad news is that the lockdown is still active. The good news, however, I just hacked into a projector drone that might be able to help you. It'll project a hologram of you so those dumb robots won't be able to tell who's the real thing. Oh, cool. Um, I hope. Oh, jeez. to the network again now we're talking only thing left to do is get the power running again follow the cables it's the only way to figure out what's wrong so where's my new drone part here no We've got melee attack ranged incendiary fire Oh, uh, maybe I'll show you guys that one. We haven't done that yet. Keeps turning off my lights. And where exactly are we supposed to go? That's the question. Alrighty, folks. I don't know how many times I have died because I run up to one of these stations and it doesn't, uh, I just go right off the edge. <sighs> Come on, let's get this power turned on and end this episode. Park me. Tell me something's gonna jump at us here. Okay, that's really creepy. Really? You gotta come over here between this guy's nuts? I wonder what that is. Ooh, heal over time when energy is high. That's cool. Right on. Okay, so. Uh, hey, sorry to bother y'all, but I got a report of malfunction with the carbon cat synthetic. Now, 
I don't know if you guys are jacking up his aggression levels or something, but he seems out of whack. I mean, he threatened a little kid today. Huh? Like he was gonna punch his teeth in. That's not normal, right? Yeah, that's different. Okay. Now I'm outside. Emergency exit. There's operations. Guess we'll see what he has to say here. I mean, there wasn't any switches or anything we could hit. So I'm confused. I'm glad you made it back alive. So I guess that mission's over. So how do I restore power to the park? My best guess is that whatever happened out there physically damaged the power. See if you can track down the problem. Not that helpful. Good luck out there. Alrighty, ladies and gents. Well, sorry for all the editing. That was a pretty rough one. I'm going to run around and do some severe scouting here, see what I can find. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. As always, give your heads down, your blades of doom up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.